do indeed. Hey, Jay Reed, you've got one of the best run stuffing defenses in the league. What is the most important or impactful thing you can point to that's led to that? Um, you know that we're getting better each and every week. Um, we're taking the strides we need to um, to become a better defense, and you know it's turning out good. Is there one person, or is there a scheme, or is there something that's made a huge difference? I don't know. Just all, all eleven on the field, really. Um, just you know, we're all out there playing sound football. Um, we're getting it going, and you know we're rolling right now. Yeah, Karen, you've been playing with Puna Ford for a few years now. It seems like he's really been playing well the last part, of a few weeks or however long. Just what, what have you seen out of him? How he's developed this season? Um, you know, each year it gets better. Um, he's turning into a real, really, really, really great player right now, and um, you know, he he grows every week. I'm real excited to get a chance to play beside him, and um, he's going to continue to grow and continue to do what he's doing now. Tim Booth, Jaron, another one about one of your teammates. Um, you played with Bobby now for for a while. What have you come to appreciate over these years of, of playing in front of uh, in front of him? Yeah, uh, I mean it's a pleasure, man. You know, uh, well, personally me, you know, I think he's gonna be a gold jacket guy down the line, and um, you know, it says a lot about him. You know, he's a great great guy, great teammate, um, great player. Uh, I'm just real fortunate to be playing with a guy like that. Uh, Jaron, when the uh, early in the season when the defense wasn't playing as well and the numbers were high, how did you take that from a standpoint of personal? Was it annoying, embarrassing? Were you? Uh, what was your degree of upset? Um, you know, nobody would be, you know, particularly happily happy with you know such type things. You know that was going on then, um, but you know we just stayed grounded, um, continued to work every week. You know, every week we got better. And um, we just continue to get better. You know, as I said earlier, you know, we keep growing as defense. We're not perfect now, but, you know, it, it, it's coming, you know, and we just continue to work. Michael Sean. Hey, Jay Reed, if, uh, if 23-year-old Jay Reed met 27-year-old Jay Reed, what's the biggest difference the 23-year-old would see? Um, i say... I'm just preparation, you know, how you prepare, you know, how you take care of your body, um, your mental aspect of the game. And, uh, yeah, that would, that, that would be my, my main thing, you know, just how to become a complete pro, a pro athlete. Uh, what, what did you, how did you learn how to take, take care of your body and what way do you do that now? Um, well, it started, I'll say that kind of towards the end of my first year, beginning of my second year. Um, I really used to watch my vets. Um, you know, Mike B, Cliff Averill, you know, those guys did a great job, you know, taking care of their bodies and, you know, doing the little things that you had to go out there and perform every day, not just on Sunday. That's Wednesday and Thursday, you know, and Friday. Just to peek at what they were doing, I used to take knowledge from them, ask them t um, different type of things and techniques and massages and, you know, those type of things that I could do. And uh, I just took it in. I made me a routine, and you know now I got you know my whole routine down to what I do, you know to get ready for Sunday or Monday or Thursday. Thank you. Great. Hi, Jared. In what ways has Carlos Dunlop helped you specifically, pass rush, and and how offenses defend the entire defensive line? Um, you know everybody is uh, with a collective effort right now. You know, getting better each and every week. You know, Carlos came in, I said, you know, it's experience. Um, you know, when you get a guy like that who's had, who I think, 90 sacks or something like that, and experience rushing, you know, he knows how to rush. You know, that was key, you know, to bring him in, especially like when Bruce went down, so we needed another factor on the edge. You know, it was just perfect timing, and um, he's a real great player. Yeah, Jared, I think you guys have 19 sacks over the last five games, three sacks apiece, at least going back to the, the San Francisco uh, win. Um, just how much of a boost does that give you guys up front that you're starting to see those that effort pay off and those sacks are coming and you guys are up to seventh in the league now after where you were at after the first six, seven games and so forth? Um, that's good, but, you know, we can do better. Um, we can get more.
I feel like we leave um, some on the table and, you know, we're hungry. You know, we're never satisfied, nor, you know, are we just, you know, content with what we're doing right now. We want to do more. All right, last one for Jay Reed, Brady. Hey, Jared, uh, what's been your impression of just Jamal Adams as a teammate and how he's fit into your locker room uh, and everything like that? Oh, man, Jamal's a great guy, juice guy. You know, you get on the field, you know, you like playing with players like that. You know, the energy, you know, he plays with, the physicality he plays with, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, that, that's what you want, you know. And him, Diggs, you know, those guys are back there, you know, they're, they're doing a real great job, man. They're taking no. How do you feel that energy when you're on the field? Oh, shit, you see him, make, it just makes you want to, you know, get that juice. It goes to all the other 10 guys on the field. And that's what anybody who makes a play. And, you know, it's, and it's who's next, who's going to make their next play. And, um, you know, we're playing off of each other right now. You know, we're rolling, we're gelling together.